Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Now, we're back here in Tenedur today. We're going to turn in this quest, an oath resworn, to Orchawe and see what happens next. So let's go ahead and get started. How can I be of service? The tomb robbers will threaten our history no more. I thank you greatly for your work to stop them. I know we sent you initially to repair the pact with Ostfarad, but to have you and them go above and beyond and deliver us Rantost, words cannot express my gratitude. Could I speak with you a moment? The oath with Ostfarad has been resworn, and we stand together today because of that. It's a great burden off of my shoulders to have those wrongs righted. Now, we need to turn our attention to the western shore, and to a friend that we've had far longer than Osferad. A friend who stands at the end of his time and weeps for the state of the land. Use the boat and venture across to the eave spires and speak with Longbow. Okay, now Longbow is the int that we have already spoken to, so he is going to lead us straight over to the quest that we've already picked up. But he has some other things too. So let's see what else he's got. Might I take a moment of your time? We've just gotten word from Rivendell that Master Elrond wishes to speak with you, but I don't know what about. I found it's best not to keep powerful elf lords waiting. Uh oh. Maybe we ought to go do that. <laughs> Would you do something for me? When I stayed in Estelden, I made friends with a group of Earthkin that lived not far from the refuge. They were holding out valiantly against the oppression of Angmar. Seeing what we have gone through here, I think of them and wonder if they are well. I'd like you to go and find out. If they are, I'm sure there's work to be done there. Their camp is north of Estelden, just beyond the Ramdwath. All right, now those quests that I just picked up, though, are higher. Those are, are 40, so we're going to hold off on that. Um, mainly because I'm 36, so I think if we go over and speak to, to Longbow again and work on the quests that I picked up over that way... Uh, We'll be ready to leave and go see what else is out there. Let's talk to Horace. Now, he didn't have anything for me before. Could I spit with you a moment? Welcome to Tenedir, Bellany. I can show you secret paths by which you can lead your fellowship here quickly. But you must prove to me that you are worthy to be taught such skills. You must know for what to look. I've hidden one of my arrowheads somewhere in Evendim. If you can pick up my trail and follow the sign, you will be able to recover the arrowhead and prove to me that you're ready. If not, well, perhaps another hunter will succeed where you fail. I will tell you this. I crossed the bridge from Tinnadur to the mainland, so you will want to begin your search for my trail there. Okay, we need to work on this because... I keep coming back here, and it's a long trip. So, let's see if we can't pick up this trail. We have to find a scratched arrowhead. Every day that I log in here, I never know what is going to happen? It's always exciting <laughs> to find out. All right, now there's an enemy there of some sort. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, I have to click on it. The marks in the dirt leave no question. The trail here leads southeast. Okay. Ow. 
<laughs> Get up over here. It's a swarm, a dead swarm. Interesting. All right, now we have to take a lift here somewhere. Maybe we need to go in here. High King's Crossing. Is that a stable? I'll take that. Okay, so this is what not, can I do for you? This is not where I want to be. It wants me to go up over that way. Subtle tracks right here. Okay. Peering closely at the soil, you find a scratched arrowhead partially embedded in the dirt. This must be Horace's arrowhead. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank God I didn't have to go too far. All right, now I gotta get back. Now that stable that I just picked up. Um, I wonder if I can get there from here. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> well, doesn't appear so. If there's wa is there water down on this side, I can go down. Okay, I swam back. So we're back in Tenedor. Hello, Horace. Yes, this is my arrowhead. See? See the scratches? I carved my initials here so I'd be able to recognize it. A number of burglars have tried to pass themselves off as hunters, and I needed some way to catch imitations. I will teach you secret paths through Evendom, Bellany, so you will be able to lead your fellowship to Tenedor with utmost speed. Oh! <laughs> nice. So now I can add this one. This one takes me back to Bree, but I have one that takes me to Bree, so I need to reset this at another place that doesn't give me the fast travel. We need to go to Eve Spires and see what we can do for them. We have some quests over Greetings. there already. And Eve Spires, please. don't think there's anything else we need to pick up here. I think we've already got everything, so let's just talk to him. Who 
Yes. You are far from home. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Let's check our quest log here and see. Okay, I think we're going to fight some Gordane today, everybody. And I don't think I can have anything. Nope, nothing else on there. So let's check our map. Everything is up this way. Okay. Well, let's get let's get to hunting. What I do best. Let's see, what's the easiest way to get up there? Probably over here. Oh, I see their totems up there. guys aren't giving me what I need, though. There's a ward. I need five of those. Looks like I've got to follow this path up. I'm hoping it turns. Okay, here. Tons of shadow playing around here, that's for sure. There's another time.
Oh, I see something up there, another totem. Okay, around this area here... <sighs> One more gorge stalker. Oh, here we go! I see the basket! I see the basket. <laughs> and there's another totem. <laughs> Let's get the totem first. Basket. Okay. Now, we need to go this direction. Okay, then maybe we can get that ward right there. Man, these guys re-pop really quickly. Okay, we're done with that. Does want me to go this direction. Okay, there's my last gorge stalker. Maybe the spear is over there. Okay, got those. the spear. Okay. All right, now it says we need to get some pouches. So I'm not sure where those are. Let's see. Okay, those are going to be... Oh, way the heck over there. Um... It almost looks like we need to go back down into the water though. So we are what we're going to do is we're going to use our our new tinnitus and then we're going to take the boat back over to the Eve Spires. Greetings. All right, we have a turn in here for Revenov. What can I do for you? I destroyed the wards that you wanted me to. Good. You've done what I asked. 
I hope they didn't give you too much trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I was just a little lost up there. The way they've got things laid out, it uh, isn't very efficient. In any case, now we have what we need to begin setting our final plan into motion, which Erichel will describe to you. Okay. So we've got to talk to Erichel anyway. What can I do for you? Oh, I see you've returned with the relics. Excellent. They were crude as I expected, but they also show more sinister signs. Some of the work is influenced by the customs of orcs and goblins. The relationship is distant, and perhaps they've had no dealings with each other for some considerable time. But it does not bode well for our chances of coming to a reasoned understanding with them, I'm afraid. Lilfalin's tender temperaments aside, I fear that our next course may be one of decisive action. Hopefully, he will not be too upset with me. I think I want this one, the spiced apple. What do you need? It seems you have fought well against the Guardain. But from your descriptions of their savagery, I realize that I've been hasty and foolish. Forgive me. I have fought a great many battles and lost many things I have cared for. The way of the sword comes to my hand and thoughts are as readily as breathing and I fear it may always be so. I've misjudged the Gordain. They are feral and brutal, but unlike the craven orcs and goblins, they are yet unbowed and carry a great pride with them. They will not be cowed by such an assault. Will you lend me your ear? Now then, as a warrior of some renown, I'm all too accustomed to doing battle, and I always contend with and offer the threat of death. Against such mean foes as the goblin and orcs, this threat is sufficient to break their spirits and send them back running. But not so with the Gordain. As Lilywithin has reminded me, Men, such as they, who are still free of spirit and pride, often place greater value upon the unseen and unfelt worlds than they do upon their own lives. The wards were the clue, and it was this that we shall play upon to keep the, our respective camps safely separated. You may have noticed a number of Gordain markers along the shore of the river just north of here. Those mark the current boundaries of their territory, at least as they see it. But they do not in any way prevent them from crossing further into our stretch of the forest, but that we will change. I've changed the wards you brought me and added a, a few flourishes. If you add these to the boundary markers, they'll no longer represent mere territorial boundaries, but wards of doom to the Gordain, a warning that any who cross put their very spirits into absolute peril. The Gordain may not respect our swords and bows, but this they shall not ignore. Oh, cool. Definitely want to do that then. So let's uh, head on over and set those. They're right up the hill here. Bears. More a nuisance and a danger. Right. This one was very, very close to the camp. I think we're just going to go up and around.
this way. It's the last one here. here. We have to go way up over there to get those others. That's okay. Let's head on back. Wards have been set. Negavonin. Well done, my friend. That should greatly reduce the threat of the Gwardain for the time being. That line of wards will neither prevent their crossing indefinitely, nor will it stop some of their insistent or brave hunters from intruding, but I will deal with those as I must. What it will do is prevent open war from erupting, and that is enough for now. You have my deepest gratitude. And though I've no more tasks for you, you may wish to speak with Lilifwyn or Longbow to see if either of them requires your aid. All right. Well, Longbow has something for me. Befuddled Titans. You should not be giving your right name away like so. Hmm, the men dressed and wolfskins are of no concern anymore. So say the silky-haired ones. I believe them. The trees of the mountain they are taught no longer call to me. They have returned to slumber. The trees to the south, though, scream in agony. They call for help. Big men. Giant men. Nearly as tall as Longbow. They rip the trees from the ground. I can feel it. Oh dear. Alright, so what does he, he what does he want me to do? I have to go to Almond Mark. Let's see. Do you have something else for me? Fruits of the forest. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? I beg your pardon, for we've forgotten to mention how we keep the giants convinced that this forest is haunted. It's easier than you might assume. I need you to collect some berries from the bushes that grow in this part of the forest. They're quite sweet, but I suggest you do not sample them, unless you find yourself led far astray by their effects. Bring me several handfuls, and I can prepare a treat for the giants. They can be found south of the Eve Spires and east of Amon Mok. We have still got quite a bit to do. Knocking heads. Stay a moment. There's a band of hill giants who have taken up residence at the western edge of the forest. Nasty brutes they are, and taken up to smashing trees and tromping the undergrowth. Now, I myself prefer battles of trickery <laughs> and those of the blade. So I suggest this plan. For some years now, I've instilled a fear of wood sprites and sprites in the giants. Nay, there's none such, at least not hereabouts, but the giants do not know that. Flickering lights in the distant woods, unexplained disappearance of important things, strange and unearthly sounds, all the sorts of things you might use to scare children that will keep them from wandering into a dangerous wood. The giants are a little wiser than children, but this ploy may keep them out of the forest. They've been growing bolder as of late. I happen to know one of the giants that guards the outskirts of their encampment has a cherished lucky stone he keeps near his person. A rock of no true value, I would wager. See if you can snatch it. 
There is a small rock that I left nearby to help provide a means of distraction. Be sure to move quickly and stay unnoticed or you will likely be stepped on. Ooh, well, that sounds interesting. Okay, any other ones? It looks like you've got one also. Will you lend me your ear? I fear things have gone awry and taken a rather dangerous turn. It seems that a stone giant of some actual cunning and intelligence has arisen to leadership among the giants. Giants are very powerful creatures and dangerous at the best of times, but they're fractious and chaotic, and it's quite rare for a strong leader to rise among them. The consequences of such are usually disastrous. Even Erchel and Longbow would likely find themselves overmatched. In this instance, I'm afraid, this leader must not be allowed to strengthen his control. Might you defeat him for me? Sure, definitely. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. Please give a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. I hope to see you next episode. Take care, all. Bye-bye now.